What's up going on? What's up going on? Hello everybody, how are you? Uh, I haven't done a video in a while. Um, I've drawn a few things. I've drawn some stuff that's not robots with coffee uh, in the last couple weeks. So, uh, and then um, I've been working a lot as well, which, you know, we, we're all working, right? So, um, uh, if you tune in, if you tune into the dot com, there weren't that many posts last week, the week uh, before I post this video. And it's not like I didn't have material, I just never made time to get on the computer and scan it. And then like half of it was not robots with coffee, half the stuff I wasn't, I was drawing. Um, I actually did have enough for like a full week's worth, but I never got around to posting it. So this week, starting December 3rd through the 8th, 3rd, 4th, 5th, 6th, 7th, excuse me, um, you'll see something every day and, you know, next week as well. Uh, if, if, if you're interested, I do hope you check out the site, uh, every day. Otherwise I'm posting and Jesse is posting on Facebook and on uh, Instagram and et cetera. This is my local pick. This is my local pickup. This is my recent pickup. Um, it's a, it's a TIE fighter from Star Wars, obviously it's, uh, Yoda's. Of course, I don't remember Yoda having a TIE fighter, but I'm a little interested in some of these extra TIE fighter designs. They're kind of cute. It's got R2-D2, so hooray. And, of course, Creos can probably fit on there. How awesome would that be if your droid was Megatron instead of R2-D2? I'm looking for Siege Sideswipe, but I'm not looking too hard. Um, it'll probably show up pretty soon. In the meantime, I'm going to draw for a little bit. And uh, I'm going to film a little bit. Um, the New Mystery Science Theater Season 12 by Rob Schraub, direct, who directed it. Um, much better than Season 11. Much tighter. Look at that. I already have something I need to edit. Uh, movies are... There's something about like the grossness of the season 11 movies that I just can't really enjoy. You know, there's a bunch of stuff like that. Um, this time around, I really enjoyed the movies. One of them was Mac and Me, which I had hoped to never, ever see, because I only had heard awful, awful things. And I know beyond the, uh, the Paul Rudd running gag on Conan. Um, but for me, it just, it just looks like a terrible movie. And it is. I remember when it came out. I'm using one size pen here, which I probably shouldn't be doing because of small figures. Um, but the other movies that are featured on it, like The Killer Fish with Lee Majors and uh, the Muriel, Muriel Hemingway and... Karen Black. It's, it's, it's a pretty star-studded um, 70s monster flick, and it's, it's kind of great. And just everything about the, 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 the jokes and the skits are much funnier this time around. And not that, I mean, I was glad to do the Kickstarter for Season 11, and I don't regret being part of it, but, you know, I'm just, I'm just kind of voicing my preference. So, and you get to hear about it. So, yeah, so, so Monday on the 3rd, if you tune into to robotswithcoffee.com, you'll see. 
an article about some of my favorite lesser known mystery science theater episodes and you know I don't know if they're actually lesser known but some of them um, didn't show up in video you know I mean some some episodes during the short shows runs prior to it being on video or what have you were pretty notorious Manos was notorious, Mitchell was notorious, um, but I don't know if, if people really liked, um, one called Tormented, um, which may have been released on video, but... For me, I'm just, you know, I, I hadn't watched Tormented over and over, like in a group setting, especially with my friends, like I did with uh, Manos or some of the other ones. And, you know, Ed Wood and Roger Corman and Bert I. Gordon, you know, and, and Tormented is a Bert I. Gordon film. Um... But it's 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 one of the it's it's such a great episode. The riffing is great, and uh, I don't think it gets to do. I want to make this tree sketch more complicated than it needs to be. I haven't picked up my comics, so I haven't gotten to Optimus Prime 25 yet, or um, Unicron 6 yet. Uh, but I will. I kind of post... I just dropped my ruler. I kind of post... Um, what I pre-order every month on Twitter, I think it's important to check out if you're a comics fan and you know you're ordering comics. Pre-orders help, and definitely pre-paying help. So you know, make sure you do that if you do do pre-orders. But um, I don't look at. Marvel or DC anymore? Just because I'm just not interested. I'm sure they're not interested in me, but anyway. And then silence. All right. So I'm not going to do. I'm not going to film this much longer. It's already at nine minutes. But I wanted to check in, and you know, in case you were wondering, and if you do watch these, and I have no idea how far you get when you watch these, but. I appreciate it nonetheless. Um, if there's anything you want to see on the site, let me know. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. If you have plans for Christmas, let me know. It's, I don't really have a lot going on outside of... working and drawing and you know um, 
The comics that I'm working on that are not robots with coffee are not related to Sad Vigilante. Although I do need to finish that. Um, if you follow me on Instagram or whatever, you, you might have seen some of my dating strips. And so, yeah, I do have a lot of material for, I'm still working on. That'll make a good comic or make a bad comic. When people are asking me about a uh, physical comic, so yes, I don't know how big it'll be. I could end it like I could, I could stop doing it like within a week. strips written down. Right. I have to draw little lines here to show where things are at in relation to each other. That's just kind of how it works. In case you're wondering about comics. Alright, we're at like 12 minutes now. So, if you're tuned in this far, thank you. But... And, and, and I actually do have a Mort strip about Trump bot that I'm work that um, I have penciled, but I just uh, I say I haven't felt like it. But you know what? I haven't felt like it. I'm just doing this other comics. I'd say it's easier, but sometimes. Especially, like, I, you know, I complain all I want because everyone's got a hard time. I had a nine in a row works day schedule, and that had, that was following, um, an eight day works schedule. That I actually turned like eight and a half because I ended up going into work. That's how I draw my buildings, my generic buildings. I hope you like it. I don't even know when I'm going to post this strip, if I'm going to post it this week or next, because this week's stuff is already posted. I usually give myself a buffer. I usually go online and I'm like... Dur, 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 dur. I should go on. If I have, if I, I, sometimes I just create like random content. Not so much random, but sometimes I just create... Uh, random strips or random posts of 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 robot doodles. You know the random Roboros that I draw. Mm -hmm. 
and uh, if, if I come up with something else between like then and now, you know, I, I just move that post to another day, like the following week, and that way I've given myself time. That's, that's how you uh, work on these things. Or that's how I work on these things. So, yeah, I've got I've got a lot of stuff, and I try to give some of these you know, Robros stories or you know a reason for a post, not just. I and mean, I do have you know sheets, I say sheets, but I do have pages of random robots. That's my phone. I'm gonna wrap it up so you'll see I mean you can probably see the punchline down there but I'm gonna wrap it up so for now and it's already like 16 minutes so if you tuned in this far thank you and I will talk to you later you can go to robotswithcoffee.com and, and see what's going on if you like my art if you like my comics or if you're interested in um, you can go to there's a click on the store link and, and buy some t-shirts or buy some other stuff. I greatly appreciate it. All right. Talk to you later and thank you.